Hello friends, this is presentation about environment. During the past few decades, rapid industrialization, plant and exploitation of natural resources, and excessive use of environmentally abhorrent materials have resulted in discernible environmental disruptions threatening the life support system. Such changes may jeopardize the very existence of life on this planet, which evolved over millions of years. During these years, millions of species of microorganisms, plants, and animals co-evolved, the most intelligent of them being the human being, who eventually became the master of all other species and started exploiting them. So this has caught attention of scientists, academicians, social scientists, policy makers, and the like necessitating discussions at various international and national fora. And to make the citizens environment conscious, the Supreme Court of India has given directive to make all curricula environment oriented. So what is environment? The surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates or generally the natural world as a whole or in a particular geographical area, especially as affected by human activity. Why I should know environment? Clean environment, it is essential for healthy living. That's why we should know what is environment. The overall of temperature of Earth's atmosphere is increasing. For this, there should be the knowledge of environment. Your great, great, and great, great, great grandchildren will appreciate the knowledge of environment. Environment is a reflection of your character. It, as Earth is our home and for the sustainable future, the environment needs to be known. The term environment, it has been derived from a French word environment, means to surround. And according to Environment Protection Act 1986, environment is water, air, and land, and the interrelationship which exists among and between water, air, and land, and human beings, other living creatures, plants, microorganisms, and property. What is the scope of environment? Environment has a broad scope in various areas like conservation of natural resources, ecological aspects, social issues connected to the environment, impacts of human population, pollution of the surrounding natural resources. These all are the scopes of environment. Environment is a multidisciplinary subject having different sciences which we can study in this environment like physics, chemistry, biology, geology, anthropology, atmospheric science, economics, engineering, ecology and many more. Now comes to the components of environment. The environment it has two components, biotic components and abiotic components. Biotic components, they are living components and abiotic components, they are non-living or physical components. The examples of living components, they are plants, animals, birds, etc. And the examples of non-living components, they are soil and various climatic conditions like temperature, rainfall, etc. Other components of environment can be atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, or biosphere. A very important term related to environment is ecological footprint. Ecological footprint is the only metric that measures how much nature we have and how much nature we use. It shows how fast we consume resources and generate waste compared to how fast nature can absorb our waste. Ecological footprint measures the demands made by a person 
or group of people on global natural resources. This ecological footprint, it estimates biological productive land as well as sea area. These are needed to provide the renewable resources that the population consumes and to absorb the waste it generates using prevailing technology and resource management practices rather than trying to determine how many people a given land area or the entire planet can support. Ecological footprint measures the requirement for productive areas like croplands, grazing lands for animal products, forested areas to produce wood products, marine areas for fisheries, built up land for housing and infrastructure, and forested land needed to absorb carbon dioxide. Some of the important days related to the environment it has been in, covered in environmental calendar like World Environment Day, it falls on June 5th, World Water Day on March 22nd, World Population Day is July 11th, World Conservation Day is October 24th, Ozone Week is September to 16 to 23rd and many more days are being celebrated for environment. At international level also the environmental issues have been received much attention. About 40 years back, a conference in Stockholm called the Stockholm Conference held on 5th June 1972 and since then we celebrate World Environment Day on 5th June. At the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, which held at Rio de Janeiro, which is also known as Earth Summit in 1992, and 10 years later, the World Summit on Sustainable Development, which is, was held at Johannesburg in 2002, many of the key issues of global environmental concern were raised and given very much attention towards the deteriorating environmental conditions all over the world. So this presentation was about environment. In our next presentation, we will discuss more aspects of environment like various resources of environment natural resources like forest resources, water resources, mineral resources, food resources, the very much important energy resources and various other aspects of pollution related to environment like air pollution, water pollution. Till then, keep watching the presentation. Thank you.